Hey guys, good good morning, I guess. Um, it's like 2.15 and uh, I am driving to uh, my grandma's right now. Oh, I'm about to drive to my grandma's. Um, I'm feeling awful today. I'm thinking that, um, I don't know if the CBD oil gave me the energy to do everything yesterday. I don't know if that's why I was so productive um, or if I just had a really good day and um, was able to get a lot done and I'm just paying for it today. I'm really like everybody's really hoping that it's the CBD that caused me to be so productive yesterday because that means that um, I, you know I have a chance of this being like being something I can use that will get me you know the most energy possible I don't know if that makes any sense um, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to finish cleaning the inside of this car basically all that means is I just have to vacuum the back but the vacuum wasn't holding a charge yesterday anyway I'm sorry this is a really long introduction but I only got up like a half an hour ago not feeling well so we'll see how today goes but I will edit and upload the vlog from yesterday and I will be uploading my pick video finally um it wasn't exported yesterday so I had to export it so I will see you guys later um I basically have been like crying on and off for the past like 20 minutes um I just have a handful of friends that are suffering more than usual right now and uh, none of my like like chronically ill friends uh, live around me which is fine I'm friends with people um, all over the country and I've, I'm friends um, with people out of the country too and um, usually it's not terrible but then um, it's not like that upsets me um, but I know a handful of my friends are suffering so much right now and like more than usual and I just wish that I could like help them and I can't, I can be a good friend, you know, over the phone but I can't sit with them, you know, when they're um, if you're watching, you know who you are, but I wish I could sit with them while, you know, I have a friend who has been, like, so much more sick uh, gastrically than usual, and um, I wish I could just sit with her um, so she wasn't alone, and I have another friend that's in medical rehab, and just a few other friends that I'm close with that are just suffering more than usual. Um, this is uh, a side effect, I guess, of um, having friends that have chronic illnesses and um, understand you really well. It's not even that I want them to, be, I do want them to be better, but I know that's asking a lot. I just want my friends to be comfortable um, or more comfortable than usual. But if you are going through a hard time and you know, are just feeling terrible, I'm with you, I am thinking about you. And then anybody who's doing well right now that's watching, um, just please pray for the people that aren't. It was also because I was playing music that um, isn't sad, but like the stuff that I associate with certain songs um, ends up being sad. So. It was partially because of music, I think, but please, if you don't know me on Instagram or if you don't use Instagram, then send me an email. It's um, chronicallyhappyliz at uh, gmail. So please, I am with you guys. I am totally with you guys. I am here for every single one of you. So we've been watching, like, Island hunters or something like that yeah oh that was right island hunters um and it's making me want to have lots of money um my grandma's been she was talking about dying a lot 
bathroom, but I saw my mom and eat dinner, and then when she comes back out of the bathroom, I'm gonna head out. Okay, so going off of what I was saying before, um, uh, when I got to my grandma's, I was sitting outside of her door and I called her, um, like, eight times or something. I called her eight or nine times, I think, and she wasn't answering and I, you know, I was starting to get concerned, so I called my mom and we actually have this really great, um, camera that, it, it's called a, uh, Nest Cam and it's, a uh, really discreet looking, uh, in a way sort of like a security camera but to see to make sure she's okay my mom when I called her checked the camera and um, she was moving around so because that was my concern I mean not to be morbid but that was my concern um, and so then she was able to get up and she answered the door and let me in but then she was saying she didn't feel right she didn't feel right she didn't feel right so I kept telling her it's okay go lay down, um, go back to sleep, I'll just wake you up later. So I did some stuff on YouTube and then she'd wake up and be like, um, when did you get here? Or I didn't know you were coming today or I didn't know you were here. And that happened a couple times. Um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, then like the final time she like woke up and then stayed up, she was talking about, um, She's like, she's just talking about dying, and, um, yeah, and that stuff, it doesn't bother me, but, uh, it's just, you know, it's, like, upsetting that a family mem member is elderly and, you know, isn't really enjoying life anymore, and, um, I just understand that she's tired and my other grandma, the one that just turned 96 is like that too. So that just comes when you're really, really old. My grandma, my dad's mom turned 96 uh, like a week ago, actually a week ago, I think today or yesterday. And this grandma is 87, she'll be 88 in December. Um, so it wasn't awful. My mom ended up coming, so I spent a little while with her, and then um, I just took care of some YouTube stuff, and then now I'm driving back to Adrian's, and I want to finish vacuuming his car after this. So I just wanted to update you guys. I'm feeling a lot better emotionally, and um, physically I'm sort of feeling better, so I hope that it was the mixture between the coffee and the CBD that would be great though if it was more of the CBD than the coffee um, and then Adrian will be coming home a little bit late tonight but that's totally okay so I'll see you guys in a bit and nobody is actually here right now. Max was quite excited to see me. Um, I want to, because it's still kind of light out, it's seven. Um, I want to finish vacuuming Adrian's car, so I think that's what I'm gonna go out and do. I'm just waiting for Max to come back in so I can bring him out with me. <sighs> Hopefully this vacuum works today. So that didn't quite go as well as planned. Um, it's literally the vacuum, um, which this thing is great if it would work. It's like, it's such a good size, but um, I left it on the charger overnight. Sorry, Max. And there must be something wrong with it because this is what happens. Every single time. So I need to talk to 
one of the guys about it to try to figure out what the problem is. Um, I emptied like the the bag inside and um, yeah, just nothing is doing anything. So I I'm not gonna carry the big vacuum. I mean, it has like the the um, like a handheld thing, but it's one of those like big like hospital grade um, vacuums and A, I'm not bringing that upstairs and B, it's getting dark out anyway so it's pointless for me to start it now. So two of us are just chilling inside. I'm going to um, actually work on editing my POTS video and this one from yesterday has another 15 minutes so I'm just going to catch up on some vlogs first. So I'm sorry if this angle is a tad weird. Um, I just don't have the energy to hold up my phone um, to take this video, but there is a very, very common misconception that people who have chronic illnesses, um, that they have it easy because they're unable to go to school or they have it easy because um, they're unable to work or it's extremely difficult to work and they have it easy because they can lay in bed all day and you know they have it easy because of like I've gotten um, oh wow you're so lucky that you have disability benefits with like school and it's like I, I'm I'm taking college from like my computer you know that's what it had to come down to that I have to do part-time and I have to do it online because I I can't I can't go into school, you know, a couple times a week. I don't, I, I'm too unreliable to be able to do something like that. So, um, basically what really got me to, this, to really be thinking about this tonight is because I am in bed at 9 p.m. on a Friday when, you know, like a large handful of people my age um, and younger and older are getting ready to go out with their friends um, or they're getting ready to have people over, they're getting ready to go to a bar or they're getting ready to do, you know, whatever they want. Um, I'm stuck, you know, in the basement, in the house by myself, um, because I can't handle going out. And really what I'm doing tonight that I'm excited about is that when Adrian gets back, he's going to, or we're going to drive to Sonic to just get drinks because their drinks are awesome. Um, so that's what we're going to do later, but that's like the excitement for my Friday night. And this isn't unusual that my Fridays are like this. Like, this is generally every day for me that I just can't go out, um, I can't do stuff. And if I do, I have to pay for it. Like yesterday, I, you know, and I didn't even leave the house really, but I, I cleaned like so much yesterday and I did so much and I'm so happy that I did and I'm proud of myself that I did, but I'm paying for it big time today. And I paid for it last night too. Um, so my excitement for tonight will be going to Sonic. And I'm not saying this in a complaining sense, I'm just trying to raise awareness to the fact that this isn't easy. This isn't the easy way out. I'm not lucky that um, I have problems that make it extremely diff difficult to work or go to school. Um, and I have to do things at my own pace. And that's why I'm only taking one online class at a time. But I'm also doing continuous semesters. So I did like spring, summer, fall, and then I'll probably be doing winter and then spring, summer, you know, until I'm able to graduate. And that's gonna be um, and before I got sick, this is how I felt too. I, you know, like, um, graduating from college is just like this thing everybody does. It's this thing that like, um, I can't think of the word. That's like a rite of passage. I think that's the phrase is being a rite of passage that like, you know, everybody just graduates from, graduates from college and like whatever, but, um, for me, graduating from college when I'm finally done is going to be a gigantic accomplishment because this is going to have taken like 
seven years to probably get through just to, to get my undergrad education. Um, so things are not what they seem. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm sorry today's vlog has been a little bit, um, you know, it's been down, but um, I'm just reflecting a lot today and I'm not feeling well. So I think that's increasing my like reflection and I'm kind of in my thoughts right now. Um, but I'm going to try to, like, pick up the room so that when Adrian does come back, it's, like, clean because I have IV bags, like, all over the floor. And uh, probably put Breaking Bad on because, of course, that's my thing. So I'm excited, though, when he is going to be home, uh, which I think should be before, like, 11.30, um, then we are going to Sonic because they close at 2 and I'm so excited. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring light to some things that... Um, are very common um, misconceptions, I guess. We got a vanilla... Mini? Yeah, vanilla shake. We got, what you... Uh, strawberry for limeade lemonade. for his mom. Yeah. He got a pineapple real fruit slush, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I got my regular blue raspberry with... You know what it tastes like? The stuff my mom makes. Which stuff? The stuff you like. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, and it has like yeah, chunks. Chunks in it. It's good. It's my favorite. It is very late, so we are heading to sleep. Sonic, always a good choice. Um. Uh, I don't even get food there. I just get the the slushes, and they're really good. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great rest of your day, everybody.